what is going on guys it is quaz the gamer today i'm bringing you a video of sort of a rant i'm going to be doing on another person because this person sort of is just being a dick to me now of course i don't want you guys to go ahead and do anything be mean to this person um and if you support this person well i'm sorry that you're gonna have to listen to some hard truth today about this person um, let's get right into who this person is. This person's based Adri, and uh, I'll sort of be talking about her and her accomplice, Bill Will, both sort of assholes to me recently, and I decided it's about time I have to make a sort of video on them. In today's video, we're going to talk about some things that she's been doing recently, like how she's been rude to me, how she's twisted and manipulated people, and how she's became a total sellout. Uh, all together make her sort of just really awful person in my opinion she's just really really mean and this is only the tip of the iceberg there's so much back stories that I couldn't even begin to get into that just shows her true colors of really just an awful person anyways um, I don't want you guys to like this video I don't care if you guys do this is just something I have to do so let's get right into how rude she is to me So the first thing I want to get into is when her and Bill Will came to my stream uh, within a few days ago and they called me out for view botting. Not right now, like a month ago. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? I, I just, I don't understand their logic here. And here's some proof of when Bill Will came to my chat and he said, word for word, I mean, your viewer count has dropped drastically ever since the view botting was stopped. This is proof that they actually did really call me out for view botting, and they actually meant it. And this is why I'm about to give you guys some hardcore facts and proof of how they just, they're ignorant, and they both decided just to make shit up just to start drama. Like, they literally are just trying to start drama and be rude to me. So anyways, first off, I went on vacation back on June 25th, alright? I was gone for three weeks. When I came back, my viewership died because I didn't stream for three weeks. Yeah, I went from 50 to 70 to up to 100 viewers every day down to about 20 to 30 to 40, okay? And they decided because recently viewbots had been taken off of Twitch that I must have also lost my viewbot program and lost my viewers. Excuse me, I've had 20 to 30 viewers for the past three weeks, and yet they didn't see that. All they know is that three days ago, ViewBot programs were taken off of Twitch, and because I now don't have the same viewers that I had a month ago, I must have been ViewBotting this whole time. Again, this is just something that they just are starting drama with for no reason. They have no facts about it. In fact, I just proved to them why I lost my viewers, and they just don't give a shit because they're just asshole people. Secondly, um, I have an actual DM from Adri that I will share with you guys on screen, and it's basically just her being rude as a general person. She's just a mean person. She literally says in her DM, which you'll see in a second, you can unmod me. Don't think I'm ever going to come back to your stream while CJ is present. I'm literally going to flip and say shit I'm going to regret. Sorry. Basically, she told me that she couldn't even handle herself in my stream, and she wasn't going to show up because somebody else was there. Like... That's just such a rude thing to say to me. Oh, I'm just not going to come by because uh, this person's here. So to go into backstory really quick on why this bothers me so much is because CJ decided to charge Adri back one time for like $5. And I never had a problem with him because he never did anything to me. Hell, he even donated to me and never charged me back. I, I mean, it sucks that he charged her back. But at the same time, he didn't do anything wrong to me, and she just wouldn't be there because he was there. The next thing I want to talk about is when she was tweeting about me. And she didn't just tweet about me. She tweeted something about how people and their egos are just, like, you know, annoying her or something. I was streaming at the time, and I said something, wow, you guys are going to go ahead and subtweet me. I said, at me if you have something to say. She literally tweeted at me next and said, we're not talking about you, Okay. And then after that, they started subtweeting me again. They literally, she literally said, we're not tweeting about you. And then she starts tweeting with Bill Will about me. They start subtweeting me again. Like, she's just like a 
a fucking asshole thing to do. <laughs> I'm sorry. But, you know, if you're going to go ahead and at me and say you're not going to tweet about me and that nobody wants to tweet about me and then subtweet me, you're like just, you look like a fucking idiot. And then, of course, she deleted her tweets before I got to screenshot them. So I do uh, apologize for not having them, but they did happen and I read them out live on my Twitch stream, which I, I can highlight if you guys want proof of it. Anyways, the last thing I want to just talk about is the fact that she talks shit with Bill Will and some other people behind their backs on their Discord channel. Okay, they act like they're the shit. Let me just say one thing. It took me like two months to get the fucking Discord link just to join. And that's because she probably shit talks me behind my back and doesn't want me to fucking walk in on it one day. I guarantee Anyways, guys, these are just some of the examples of her being a rude person. And now we're going to go ahead and get into how she twists around what people say and manipulates people with this. So now I'm going to get into um, how she's manipulating and twisting, you know, basically stories and stuff like that just to start drama and be sort of a mean person. And this goes to back to CJ, the person who I mentioned earlier, and this goes to a story uh, that they both told me differently. She told me that he leaked her information and that he sent her stuff that she was uncomfortable with. But he tells me that, quote, she was so happy at that time. Now, as time goes by, she changes that when she tells people. Basically, what this is, is she was happy at the time that she was receiving these gifts. And now she just basically is a rude bitch and decided to say that he leaked her information for no reason when he never leaked her information. She just changes the stories up because she's trying to be a manipulative bitch. Another thing I want to say about her being twisted and all of that is that she's actually biased, really biased towards the people who give her money. Like, she mods the people who give her money, and she basically is sucking the dick of Bo and Bill Will because they give her money all the time, and she doesn't actually really care about these people. I just want that to be said right out of the bat because it makes her just a very twisted and cruel person. And with that, I'm going to get into how she's a sellout and how she's basically just gone corrupt since she's been a sellout. So a big part of her becoming a sellout comes from two different things and it's this G2A link that she got and this third party subscription on Twitch. Basically what the G2A link is is there's a website called G2A.com where you can buy a bunch of online games or stuff like that for Steam or anything you know to be honest and she got a discount link where if you use her link you can actually give her money at the same time you could save money yourself or something like that and I can tell you how many times I have seen on Twitter where it says like she's like she's just promoting the link all over again it's like all the time it's constant she would like tweet it and then she would retweet it and then she pins it and it's just it's really annoying just to see her always spamming because the only thing she cares about is money she doesn't care about giving us a discount she actually just wants you guys to use her link so she can make money herself and the next thing is the third party subscriptions. Like, what the fuck is she trying to get at here? Like, you're not partnered on Twitch. Getting a third party subscription, not that it's bad, guys, but it basically is saying I can't get partnered on Twitch. This is the next best thing. And she is only doing it for money. And then she actually acts like a partnered streamer. She's all like, uh, you guys have to be subscribed to me for me to add you on PS4 or Xbox One. Or she's like, uh, you gotta be subscribed to me to play with me any day you want, uh, except Monday and Thursday. Those are the days that I believe viewers like what the fuck are you trying to do be more of a sellout like dude you have enough money just chill exactly. out she's not even grateful for all this money i'm not even kidding she gets like a hundred dollar donation from this guy named Bo, and she just sits there and just sort of like doesn't even do anything she might say thank you like if somebody gave me a hundred dollars i like basically don't know what to say like th that's insane and incredible and she just doesn't care like people donate five dollars half the time she doesn't even see it because she doesn't care but she wants the money and she uses the money but she doesn't care when people donate to her she's such an ungrateful person and it's just awful and all this together just makes her complete sellout and honestly this everybody just is the reasons why she's sort of an ungrateful and awful person 
and I hope you guys enjoyed this video today I know it's sort of a different video but you know this was just one of those videos I just had to make it just it's just awful to see people like her just go ahead and you know abuse people and manipulate people and just completely be an asshole so you know what guys make sure to leave a like because we just sort of took this bitch down until next time it's been Quas.